Hi everyone, my name is Tyler Oakley, and today we are living our DIY fantasies. It's a world that I rarely go into, but I do observe from afar. <laughs> so there is a thing on the internet where people make five minute craft videos. Some seem like they may be helpful. Most of them seem ridiculous and completely useless. So I'm gonna react to some of them. I'm gonna see if I can try to attempt some of them. And maybe by the end of this, I can report back to y'all which ones were brilliant, which ones were useful, and which ones were just a waste of time. Okay, so we got a balloon and a phone is oh okay see that seems very doable I mean is that helpful in any way I don't know if like that's better than any iPhone case that you could get this one seems easy harmless why not try it okay. is there a point to this is this for protection for your phone oh, Jesus Christ I feel like the harder I push the wider the balloon gets but also I'm afraid of what I'm about to do with the balloon <laughs> this is stressful you know what you could probably use that's probably gonna be better than a balloon? A condom. The problem is it's really luby. I think we're good here. Oh, see, it's like half done. This is disgusting. <laughs> if you're on a budget and you need a phone case, this might not be advice that you hear often, but I would just go without the condom. Next one is a oh, girl. This is some type of, oh, actually, that could be cute. Oh, well. <laughs> they like make it practical, then shit it up, and then make it practical, then shit it up. Let's try it. You have a bucket and you have your toilet paper. I'm not like super opinionated on if it needs to be under or over. I feel like that's like a big Twitter argument every six months. So this is so far. <laughs> if I went into somebody's bathroom and they had this, would I applaud their ingenuity? Perhaps. This would be good for a kid's bathroom, I guess. I don't mean to shame you if you have this in your bathroom, but like, also, girl. <laughs> oh my god. Whew. I got these garbage bags. <laughs> you know how some garbage bags are scented nowadays? Oh, back in my day, they just smelled like plastic. This is a splurge. Anyway, <laughs> this is what being an adult is like. Oh, I have to cut this pool noodle? Jesus Christ. Okay, I guess I should be careful. No unnecessary injuries during the pandemic. You know, this poor pool noodle. So, here's my new garbage can. Am I supposed to shit in it? Is this supposed to be a toilet? No! No! I thought this noodle was supposed to just kind of be decor and to hold the garbage can on. I didn't realize this is supposed to be like soft for your ass. This is a toilet? This is disgusting. This is not right. I cannot believe this is supposed to be a toilet. I think my way is better than what it's supposed to be. This is supposed to be in my head, oh, just a garbage can for the bathroom. It's fun, it floats. As soon as I found out this is actually supposed to be shit in, it really ruined it for me. <laughs> okay, so we got a shirt, a big oversized button down shirt. You put it around your waist, you pull it up over your boobs, you wrap it around the back and bam, you have got, oh, <laughs> I mean, there's gotta be something better you could do with the sleeves. But yeah, you have like a tube dress kind of going on. Is that the vibe? That one's cute. Okay, so we got our oversized shirt. I think I just like step into it and turn it around. Oh baby, okay, go on with it. <laughs> Okay. Oh wait, how'd she do it? Am I just too... Oh, is she just fucking skinny as hell? I'm not that skinny! Okay. <laughs> oh, if you can get rid of a rib, it will help. <laughs> is it giving me good shape at least? Is it cinched? <laughs> we get it, you're skinny. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Why is she... Why? Why? Girl, save for later, okay. What could I possibly be making? Shoes of some sort. Oh, like little flip floppies, word. Okay, I mean, I'm not gonna say it looks good, but like if you come into a pinch and you need a flip flop, easy. Sometimes the thing you get rid of to make the new thing is better than the thing that you're making. Like at what point are you like, I am ready to sacrifice a pair of jeans in exchange for flip flops. I feel like you would want your jeans before you'd want your flip flops. No? <laughs> oh, beautiful. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy my regular taper fit flip flop. This is hideous. <laughs> I'm really getting the Britney Spears Justin Timberlake denim suit from this. You know, like jorts and joveralls and jlip jlop. <laughs> Today we're making jip jlip jlops. And then you take your flip flop, put it down on there, let it dry a little. Or not, I don't know, you can just fucking go for it. Why? I just. <laughs> Old Navy sells flip flops for a dollar. Oh, baby. <laughs> no! Oh my god, they're terrible. <laughs> The shoe fits, baby. I feel like a modern day Cinderella. So these are my new shoes. <laughs> I feel like I've lost control of the direction of the channel, but these are my new shoes. 
Remove panties without taking off pants. How often do you need to do this? Ugh! Baby, you know what? I'm not gonna shame her. You're just adding like a little strap -do. Yeah, sure. That's gross though. You like yank them out. That's gradacious. So first I need to cut this. Girl, I would just like to know, what is the moment you have to get your underwear off of you immediately? Did you shit yourself? Did you piss yourself? You have to know very far in advance that you are a person that needs to take off your underwear without taking off your pants. Are you that person? Is this the craft for you? I have to say, hers look really high quality, beautiful. I am over here with granny panties and like a fucking glue gun. So mine's not gonna look that cute. Oh, I didn't really think this through. So here's one side. If anybody saw you wearing these underwear, <laughs> And then you had to explain to them, oh, they're just my pair that I can easily take off without having to take off my pants. I would be like, okay, well, I have like seven questions. So these are my new underwear. You see the latches on both sides. So like, if you really need to get them off, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna put these on under my shorts hole. So I have the underwear on. This is the situation we have going on. Oh no, did I super glue the latch? If there's shit in your pants, now I'm just moving it all around. I just have to yank it this way or yank it out the back. So I have to choose. So this is the front. <laughs> It's definitely a wedgie. It's not good. <laughs> no! This movement is really smearing whatever I'm trying to get rid of. Ta-da. <laughs> this five minute craft is vile. So my final verdict for the removable underwear is if you're the type of person that needs to be making these, I empathize, this is a safe space for you, but instead of maybe spending the five minutes on this, maybe spend the five minutes on this and bring it around with you in case you need to shit. This could be a solution instead of shitting your pants and then like yanking them out. Okay, so we got some jeans. Some socks with holes in them. Does it matter if they have holes in them? No, they're just stuffing socks and jeans. Stuffing, stuffing, stuffing. And turning it in and putting the belt on. Folding the legs. Is this to like, no! Oh! Okay, well, first of all, I thought it was to be like, just have like somebody to sit next to. But now that there's a dog involved and it's like just for the dog, it's cute because it's like a gift for your pup. But like also, I would rather just like have the dog on me and like love it. Like I don't want an invisible, legs next to me for my dog. So I have a pair of jeans and I got a whole bunch of towels. I'm gonna stuff the jeans with the towels. This one is very much giving like forever alone vibes though. It's like very, I have no one to sit with. I have no one for my dog to cuddle with. So here's a pair of jeans. So now that I'm seeing these jeans filled out, I'm wondering, is this what I look like in these jeans? Because baby, <laughs> she's giving me a big crotch, but like not in a good way, like kind of lumpy. <laughs> you know what would make this better if you turned this area into like plate or like a cup holder or you could have your remote controls like this is really untapped market right here <laughs> look at this man spread okay hold on how does a normal person sit <laughs> This is terrible. If I were a dog and my owner was like, don't sit on my lap, here, sit on this. Bitch, I would be out of there. I would run into the street. It's over, I'm done. <laughs> like, this is Come, comfy. Just us girls. <laughs> if I had more time than five minutes, I could really work this out and maybe make this flattering. But I don't know if a dog is gonna be able to tell the difference. So that is why we brought along a little special pup today. Ollie, come here. So do you like to sit here? Yeah, see, this is nice. Oh, but are you eyeing a different lap? Would you like to try it? You can go over there. You can be right here. Oh, you seem tense. You're thinking about it? Get comfy in these legs. I think this is a successful craft. Okay, so this is the last one. We are starting with some gloves, taking off the tips. What is a straw? Making the straw sharp. What is this? Bitch. <laughs> Is this supposed to be a bagpipe? Does it work? Is this... <laughs> no! Okay, well, we're about to try it. This is a great five minute craft because bitch, who's got the money to try out a bagpipe? This is the way in. Now, I don't know much about wind instruments. Don't know the logistics of if this will be tuned. So we have the three straws in, we have the tape. Jesus Christ. And then what? Oh my god. Okay, well that didn't do what I was hoping it to do. But let me try it again. I think I did it right this time. I mean, I think I did it right last time, but... Attempt number two for my homemade bagpipe. Let's see if I can blow it up without popping it. Where is this expanding? Why is mine not expanding? It's just gonna pop. I know it's gonna pop. I need it to kind of like become balloonish, you know? Is this supposed to do something? I feel like this is a scam because it's not making any noises and I'm getting dizzy. 
Oh my god, okay. Well, I thought I would be able to do it. Now I'm just woozy and warm. It was a fail. So that was an adventure. I don't know if any of those crafts were worth doing. Out of all of them, I'm not sure if I'll use any of them. The jlip jlops were definitely an experience and the removable underwear, I'm not gonna say I won't ever because bitch, you never know. I'm glad I have them made, but we'll see. If there are other five minute crafts you think I should do, tweet them to me, put them in the comments, let me know. Maybe I'll do a part two of this. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I make new videos every Tuesday at noon. Push the little bell button right there. But that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you have a wonderful life. If you want to see me rate every type of potato, that was my last video. It was truly a hit, although very controversial. A lot of people had a lot of opinions about mashed potatoes. Click right here if you want to see that. But yeah, have a good life. I will see you guys next Tuesday. Bye.